Welcome to Fresh. I'm Sarah and this is Mia. Mia. And today we're going to be making peach sorbet. First up, we're going to have to cut the peaches in half. I do this before skinning them just because they get really slippery after you take that skin right off. So this is gonna be super simple to do if it is a freestone peach. If it is not a freestone peach, then you will have to cut the seed out. Next, we're going to bring a saucepan of water to a rolling boil and throw those peaches right in there and leave them in for about 30 seconds. Then we're going to go ahead and throw them into an ice bath. After about 10 seconds of being in the ice bath, we can pinch the piece of skin to get it started to peel and it'll come right off. This makes it a super easy way to peel peaches. If they aren't ripe enough for this, you'll have to peel them with a peeler. And then we're gonna go ahead and cube them into roughly one inch pieces. Go ahead and throw those into a pot, but only the six peaches. If you added more peaches, to get those chunks in later, leave those out of this part. Go ahead and throw in one cup of water and a quarter cup of honey. You can add a little bit more if you like it super sweet. Go ahead and put that saucepan over medium heat and bring it to a boil. And you're going to remove it from the heat and add some cornstarch and allow it to cool slightly before pureeing it into a food processor, a blender, or whatever else that you have to puree. Okay, after it's nice and smooth, we're going to pour that either into a gallon bag or even into a bowl. And we are going to put that right into an ice bath for about 30 minutes. After it's sat and chilled, we're going to add it to our ice cream maker. We're gonna let that mix until it is a softly whipped texture and then you can add in your peach chunks if you want. Finally, we're going to take that mixture out once it is about that softly whipped texture. You can put it into an ice cream container or just a freezer proof container. And then we are going to take some parchment paper and cut it out to fit the top of the surface of the ice cream and put it right on top of there. This will help prevent any freezer burn from happening. And then seal it up, throw it into the freezer for at least four hours. If you're going to freeze it for longer than that, I would let it sit out on the counter to thaw just a little bit to make it a little easier to scoop. And let me know in the comments what your favorite flavor of sorbet is or what you would like to make. <laughs> 